Master roofer Klaus Gla is one of the most sought after men in Westphalia. I don't take on major jobs from new clients. He and his team work hard, but there's only six of them. For the last year, the market has been so busy that we really need three times as many people, but we don't have them. I can't get anybody. His right-hand man is his son, Lucas. It's great to leave work in the evening and see something you've made. Teachers, for instance, don't immediately see the results of what they've been doing all day. But I can leave a construction site and say, I made that. And then years later, I'll pass by and say, look, I did that roof. He wants to pass on his enthusiasm by giving high school students a chance to see what he does. He'd like to take on some apprentices. The business needs them. I'm still in training, but this summer I'll be working full time and I'll be taking over the business. There's a serious lack of young skilled craftsmen in Germany. Around 15,000 trainee positions aren't filled. In Westphalia, business owners have formed an association that gives young people an opportunity to try out various jobs. It's good to cast around and see what's out there, maybe with a trial course or during school breaks. I think that gives you a handle on this sort of work. You go away having formed an impression and can decide if you think it suits you. Time and again, Rufer Lucas Gla has to admit that young people just don't think his line of work is very cool. If you study, you can get a better job, and then I guess you earn more money. It's a mistake to think that college graduates earn a lot more than skilled craftsmen. The hourly rate is at least 16 euros, 21 for a foreman. And that's not bad money. Next door, these young people are retraining. Businesses are very keen to recruit them. A lot of them come from office jobs or work that just didn't suit them. At school, you think an office job will be pretty cushy, but in fact, it's not as easy as you think. The Glas do have one young man training with them. His one complaint, he doesn't like working outside in winter. You've got freezing cold hands all day long, yeah? Yeah. So it's hard work? Definitely. He's not planning on quitting his apprenticeship, but his bosses know that they'll have to make him an offer he can't refuse if they want to keep him on.